Hello and once again, good evening YouTube, welcome back to Vigilante 8 Second Offense. Last time we completed Nina. You may also notice something that is slightly different about this. Um, you're actually able to see the menus and the transitions and whatnot now. Well, the reason for that is because at some point here you're going to see that I have transitioned to the PS3. Now this is very depressing. Very, very depressing for multiple reasons. First of all, I really like playing on PS2. It's very uh, nostalgic. But the other reason is that I tried to plug it into the PS1. And it actually worked. Except... <laughs> the actual um, connection was worse than the PS2. <laughs> so that was pretty incredible. And also that the, that is... 20 years old and the actual plug-in is really bad so like if you if like even a, if a stiff breeze were to hit into the ps1 it would probably disconnect the power so then i'd just be playing the game and then it would turn off so that would not be the best thing in the world so i had a choice to make either i was going to have a mind-numbingly annoying editing format because every single time that it actually drops off in the game capture software. The game capture software stops recording. It doesn't just record the black screen. It just stops recording and then records again once the game feed actually shows up. So there's these huge gaps in time between the loading screens and the actual game. So like I'm just randomly talking about nothing related to the game and the game's playing and it's just the worst editing scheme probably that I've ever had to deal with. Especially since getting Elgato, so that's annoying. So that's like the first drawback of Elgato that I've seen in my five years of using it. So, all things considered, that's pretty good. But the point is, is that we are going to be using the PS3 version, which is not great because it's actually going to be missing a lot of flavor sound effects. So like the car sounds are not going to be there. Dave's invasion sound effect is not going to be there. But it's actually really, this isn't the worst thing in the world that we could possibly have because the game is going to be quite behind me anyway. It's just going to be missing some flavor, basically. So we're just going to be missing some sound effects. But a net benefit is that there's actual, you know, HDMI connection now. So it's actually crisp, clear 1080p vigilante 8 second offense. So we can actually get the show on the road. Now, I know that, you know, Convoy is supposed to be dead. Lord Clyde is from the future. There's a whole lot of very, very intricate things going on in this game's story. So, and it doesn't actually ever tell you this in any part of the actual game, but you saw in the, in the options menu that there's a backstory option. Well, to give you that back information for this game, too little too late because this is part three, but what you're going to do, here is, ladies and gentlemen, and now it is time for the story, the backstory of Vigilante 8 Second Offense to the tune of Toto Africa. <laughs> Thanks to the bravery of the vigilantes, the coyote terrorist gang that played the American Southwest for nearly two years was defeated in the winter of 1975. Following the mysterious disappearance of Kylie leader Sid Byrne, the few remaining gangsters disbanded despite numerous attempts to regroup them by aspiring coyote Sid Klein. Omar, the multinational oil conglomerate, which secretly bankrolled the coyotes, was forced to retreat by valiant efforts of the vigilantes. Though the occasional skirmishes would continue for years to come, the devastated United States was finally on its way to recovery! Nonetheless, Sid's ruthless ambitions were not lost in Omar, and soon he joined his new masters! Muscling on on other earth markets around the world. In the decades that followed, Omar's aggressive methods propelled its global dominance. Slick himself had proven instrumental in the success of many acquisitions and was rapidly climbing Omar's ranks. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, in 20 
2015. Following a violent power struggle, the 70 year old Slick became the new CEO and bestowed the title of Lord Clyde of Omar. That year, under Clyde's leadership, Omar reached his goal of becoming the only global oil supplier. Except for one territory, the United States. By the following year, Clyde's health was deteriorating. He knew that his time was up, but the prospect of passing on without seeing America crumble became unbearable. To make matters worse, the U.S. government, assisted by the United Nations, united serious inquiries into Omar's questionable business practices. <laughs> Suddenly, Clyde's entire empire was in jeopardy. When Clyde learned the research that Sanford had conducted the first successful time trial experiment, he immediately dispatched Obaki. His most trusted assistant to steal the device. Clyde was ecstatic. He would travel back to 70s America. And his trouble was left of it. This way he could change his ring and make more Omar reign supreme. Since the time travel capsules could only propel for a limited amount of matter. Clyde selected his best operates Obucky and Dallas 13, the latest model in Omar's line of cybernetic assassins. As his only travel companion. It grew with state-of-the-art weaponry and automotive enhancements. The trio cross of average time would arrive near Winslow, Arizona on September 17, 1977. Oh. <laughs> That's... That's that's one of my best bits of all time. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say that's one of my best bits of all time. I hope you enjoyed the intricate um, backstory to this game. So as you can see, we are here back in the game once again. So this is the PS3 save that I had from like probably what five years ago. So there are gonna be a couple of cars that have some um, additional points in them, but that's fine. It shouldn't make that much of a difference really. So. Um, last time we did Nina, well, the logical follow-up to Nina, we saw in Nina's cutscene that this man right here uh, was at the end of her video. We're going to do super high contrast John Torque. Look at that. We got to hear the actual words. And look at this as well. So, this is the exact same war path that Sheila had. Basically, we're just going to be playing the game again for the rest of the game. We're just going to play the exact same story five more times. Actually, only four more times. Does anyone have a problem with John Torque's latest gig? JT has had it with the jokes. Shoot, a bounty hunter is as honest a job as any, right? Besides, there is some decent bread to be made in capturing wanted crooks, and it's fun too. Especially when the felon is Foxy Nina Loco. Yeah, that's right. So, John Torque is still a gambling addict. He is, um. Um. But he has toned down his, uh. his stuff lately. So, as you can see, there's no sound effects anymore. Um, if this was the. PS2 version, you'd be hearing a police siren right now, but unfortunately, we just can't have nice things. We just cannot have nice things. So, um, so we're back in the game once again. It's basically going to be the exact same thing. So once again, we got to protect the exact same thing. We got to protect the lodge a second time. Basically, at this point, we're just playing to fill up the character sheets and whatnot. But anyway, welcome back to Arizona. Every single character starts in Arizona. <laughs> no, I don't want a flamethrower. Get this shit out of here. I said I don't want the flamethrower. Please stop your shenanigans. I don't know why he's chasing after me. I'm not even going that fast. Thank you. Alright, we needed that. So as you can see, we got John's uh, new special weapon called the uh, Wheel of Fortune. 
So the Wheel of Fortune is actually a very fun uh, special weapon because not as it not only is it very uh, it's considerably more powerful than a lot of other um, special weapons, but it also is pretty rapid fire. Oh god, hello. We're not even gonna get to we're not even gonna get to use it. Because Boogie's already almost dead. Oh my god, Boogie. So there. Oh, and I just and I lost my special weapon right at the end to mines. Of all things, I lost my special weapon to mines. Rip. Did he even say anything? I didn't hear anything. Oh, this is so raggy. This is such a fucking raggedy playthrough, man. But yeah, John Torp, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Here we are. Ugh. Good stuff. What's going on here? While well, tracking Nina in Arizona, Torp gets ambushed by Boogie. Looks like Nina busted the dance freak out of jail. On top of that, Torque finds Convoy's place ablaze and abandoned. He immediately phones Sheila in California, and then sets af after the perpetrators. Goodness gracious. So yeah, we're missing a whole lot of, uh... We're missing a lot, basically. It's, uh, it's rough times. Rough times ahead. It's a shame, too, because, like, the actual, um... Because, because, because V8, I played the original Vigilante 8 playthrough on the PS2, or no, no, the PS3, and it was perfectly fine back then. Please stop blowing up things I'm trying to protect. But yes, uh, we're back again, back at it again, Molo's here. Oh, well, he's going... I guess we'll follow him, or we won't follow him. Alright, that also works. That is also an option. Not following Molo is also an option. I will happily pick up this 2x, though. I guess it really isn't a 2x, it's just, it's just an x. So, here we are. Vigilante 8 second offense. You know, the thing is, is that I was looking back in the actual, um... I don't think he's saying anything. This is very depressing. We are missing so much right now. You're missing out on a lot right now. This is... This is depressing, to say the least. I don't know if there's, like, an audio setting I could change in the PS3 to make it work, but I just don't have the patience for this shit right now. I was gonna say that this is way too easy. <laughs> First Boogie and now Molo. Is it Torque's worst freaking nightmare or what? He sure hopes the coyotes haven't caused Convoy or Houston any hurt. Well, I guess he missed the intro cutscene then. He's got to find his friends fast. That was some serious alliteration. Following reports of attacks on civilians by strange flying cars, JT continues on to Florida. My goodness gracious. Yeah, um... The thing is, is that I was, and I was, um, and I had to update the game save so that Sheila and Nina's were completed, and when I was playing back through Sheila's and Nina's quests, you know, it was very easy to notice how, um, not only, get out of here, it, the, the thing about it is that it, it, this game is strange, because, like, obviously I'm super good at it, alright? However, get fucked. However, get fucked, yes. So it's super easy to, basically what I'm trying to say is that it's super easy to kill everyone on the stage, like just instantaneously, like in just one round of a standard weapon. Like, I used two bullets, two or three bullets, and I murdered Obaki. Like nothing. However, 
when you're going up against the AI, the AI also are super powerful so that if you just, if you let your guard down for a second, your health bar is going to drain like nothing. So, I, I just feel like I'm too good at this game. I should have played this when I was younger or something, because this is way too easy. Like, I can kill this guy with my machine gun, really. I'm gonna take that health before he dies. I think. Me thinks. Me thinks. But, like, I can just kill him with my machine gun, or just one tap here. See? It's just... This game, it's just way too early. Oh, and I just got... I just got blasted. Now I'm upside down. He might be talking and it's just really, really quiet. I think he might be talking. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this game because it's so easy. It's so easy. I'm just blazing right through it. Like most of these, these, these parts were supposed to be 40 minutes long every single time. And like this shit's going to take 20 minutes at most of this point. It's just... I don't know, man. Finally, Torque runs into Houston. She is alive and well, but she tells him that Convoy is dead, question mark, exclamation point. JT can't believe his mentor is gone. He also has a difficult time grasping Houston's stories of slick flying, traveling through time and all. Good thing the girl has a plan of attack. Oh, man. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's our hearts. Avoid boogies nonsense here. Quick. Oh, there's another part right here. Thank you. Boop. Please don't. Oh! Oh! Lord Clyde got con boogie special. Oh, that was that, that was actually pretty lit. Please no. Okay, now you see now you see what I mean when I say that if you get yourself caught out, it actually you do die pretty fast. So it does have a lot to do with not only playing the game well, but playing the game smart. Cause the game is so easy. <laughs> like I keep saying this. But it really is. This game is easy as fuck. Way more so than uh actually Vigilante ate the first. I actually played it, played a little bit of it back here recently, and I only played one level, but the point stands. But as you can see, this is JT's special weapon. Normally you get a standard shot like that, but it's the, okay, I guess he's going to die just immediately. Well, that's not what I wanted. Alright, well that's also not what I wanted. Anyway, um, could you not? Okay, now you're just pissing me off. Now you're just doing this. Pissing. So his Wheel of Fortune thing, it, it, it's, see, like, you know, he's a gambling addict, right? That's, that's, the, that's been the joke his entire, both games here. So the Wheel of Fortune works a lot like an actual thing. So you can get those standard shots most of the time, but sometimes, hopefully it'll actually demonstrate at some point here. Sometimes, okay, that was a super powerful one at the end there. Sometimes you get a super powerful attack. And, uh, and it does extra damage, but you can tell that I really don't need to be doing extra damage at this point. I'm kind of, kind of blazing a trail at this point. This is, uh... This is not going how I expected it to. This is definitely... I've been recording for 16 minutes. My god, dude. I guess it helps that the Vigilante's missions are super easy. Houston asks Torx to follow up some suspects to Minnesota. It's unclear whether these crazies are associated with the coyotes, but it's obvious that they're up to no good. When Torx catches up with the gangsters at Pander Island, he finds the place booby-trapped with explosives. Hot. That's what I call hot. 
So we're back at it again. Just gonna go grab some bombs. Bombs. Bomb bombs. No, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. But yes. This is Vigilante 8's second offense. It's basically the same thing over and over. It was challenging for Sheila. It's challenging with weak characters, you know. That's, that's kind of where it's at. The weak characters is where it's at here. Could you not? Okay, Padre's got a special on him. That's not good, because I'm not the one. Ooh, that was a big death right there. Not playing for overtime. Get back here. Stop. Oh my god, stop. No, there's health up there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna... Ugh. My health. My health. And he's dead. And he's dead. Oh god. Hello. Yeah, his special weapon is really... <laughs> It's, it's, it's something, that's for sure. Come out in the open where I can use my Crater Maker against... Oh, shit! Alright, well that did not go well. That didn't go as planned. Could you not? Okay, I knew that was going to be a special. Oh my god, everyone's got their special but me. Fun times. Fun times ahead. I need to get health. Oh, I need to get health. Oh, I need to get health. Got it. Got to get that health. Yay, I got health. Yay, I got health. And I also got special. Get fucked, every single one of you. Boom. See, that's the more powerful one. It's hard to tell, because, you know, you're just murdering everyone at the same rate, pretty much. Which is extremely fast, in case you were wondering. But yeah, not that I really need that health, but I'll take it anyway. Do, 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 do. Get fucked. Okay, I missed. Neat. That's why the that's why the floaties kind of suck. The floaties really don't help when you got un untargetable specials here like this. Die. Boom. But yeah, torque special weapon is basically a more powerful. Near rocket. And now he's dead. Hooray. Yeah. This is Vigilante 8's second offense. I feel like this would be a good multiplayer game. Oh, I hear him. Oh, he's talking. He's talking somewhere back there. I can hear him. I can hear him. Barely, but I can hear him. Regardless, regardless, I definitely can hear. This is a... This is a very interesting uh, process we got here. The efforts of the vigilantes are paying off. Now Houston is determined to get their hands on one of Clyde's time travel gadgets. Who knows why? Torque is off to Utah. Supposedly Nina and the gang hit a ski resort and took off with lots of cash. Lots of matzo. That pizza shit. JT would be darned if he didn't look into it. Ooh. Not quite edgy enough there, JT. Not quite edgy enough. Gimme that bitch. Get fucked. Get fucked. I said get fucked. Oh, I said get fucked. Oh, I said get fucked. Get fucked. Good stuff. Good stuff. And we got missiles. Still get fucked. Continue to get fucked, in fact. Oh, there we go. Oh, ooh, I got an extra boost there at the end. And we got cannons. Get fucked once again. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably dead. No, you're not dead. Hey, excuse me, where's my, where's my prize? I, I was promised prize money. Or at least the repair wrench. Stop. Oh my god. What? See, when you do get bombarded, it can be a, it can be a hell of a time when you're out here getting bombarded. 
you think there'd be enough characters in the game by now where you wouldn't have to face off against the same five opponents for the entire playthrough? No! No, 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 no! You are not getting that shit. Not getting that fucking shield. I'm getting that fucking shield. Eh. There we go. Molo time. Time to kill Molo. Or no? No, not time to kill. Eh. 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 stuff. Yeah, the game's, the game's gotten significantly easier. So we just gotta kinda just push Molo in the- oh god. Wow! That was honestly one of the craziest sick moves that I've seen in this game. And you're dead. I don't even know how that happened. I think I lost. I think I got hit enough times that I lost the uh, skis. And when you lose an item, you know it kind of makes you jump a bit. Please stop hitting into the lodge. It makes you jump a bit. I think I hit the terrain in a strange enough manner that it bounced me so high <laughs> that I went into a um, a health pickup. That was that was awesome. Uh, honestly, that was awesome. I'm very happy with how that went just there. That was good stuff. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm having a good time. I hope you're having a good time watching me just murder this game. Don't worry. We'll be having a tough mission at some point. Whoa. Having obtained the time travel device, Houston rewound time by a few weeks, and now it's back to square one. <laughs> Only this time, her hubby convoy is alive. And somehow we have the memories from the other time period. Time travel is strange. Cool, brother. John Torque is Hulk Hogan, apparently. Now the coyotes are toast. I like toast. It's about time JT captured Nina. Not so fast. Torque falls right into Nina's trap at the harbor, and boy howdy, is it ever a trap. It is definitely a trap and a half. A trap and a half. A trap and a half. Do we have any toolboxes floating over here? Apparently not. Wow. I guess I'm gonna fuck myself in that case. Oh, here comes Boogie. How do you have your special? Fuck you. Fuck off. Yeah, get fucked. Follow me if you dare. Eh. Hang on here. Eh. Oh god. Oh, things are not good. Things are. No, you son of a. Fuck you. Oh my god, no. Go in the water! Go in the water! No! Oh my god, you've got to get, get up! This is stupid. This is stupid. Well, I'm almost dead. See? See, this game can be difficult. God fucking... Oh my god, two people just picked up health icons that I could have used. Don't you get that sh... Okay, so things were going really well about five minutes ago. Now, not so much. Things have vastly, vastly gone on the opposite direction of improving. Look at all these specials. Oh my god. I'm gonna be... <laughs> Alrighty then. Well... Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. Oh, shit. Cool. Thank you, Rick Allen. That'll... Certain... Oh, well, he's dead. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 Okay. Alright, we're... Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. Stop taking all my shit. Ass bag. Here, take a whammy, bitch. Whammy, bitch. Fuck off. Alright, fine. Use your special at the last second. Oh, oh here comes Clyde. Arr, he's got a special one. Here, fuck y'all. Fuck all y'all. I'm going to grab some help. I still haven't gotten a single item yet. This is... Okay. You're on the war path of pissing me off, aren't you, game? Unreal. Things were going so... 
I cannot understate how well things were going until just about five seconds ago. Things were going very well. We were having a good time, good time. There has got to be some items somewhere. Here. Here. Take that. Okay, of course he has a shield on him. Why wouldn't he have a shield on him? Okay. Now they're hiding in here by chance. No. I, okay, one item. I finally found one item. Hooray. One of four. Alright, and we're gonna go in the water. Cool. But I got a shield out of it. Alright, cool. Even better. Okay, he's going over there. I don't want fucking mines. Get fucked. Get fucked, trash man. Take those mines, bitch. Alright, I'm just gonna camp for a few seconds here. This should this should be fine. Yeah. That was looking really bad for a while there. Things were not not looking so oh wow, okay. No! No! Please, oh my god, it's in the water. Oh my god, it's in the water. Fuck you. Okay, we're finally making progress again here. Oh did Clyde did just I'm so confused right now. Okay, Clyde must have the last one because he didn't pick up the thing in the jig. When he fell in the water. I have to I have to get that. I have to sacrifice some health points there. Alright, he's gotta have the last one. I am gonna take a gander on this side of the map quick just to be safe. Ugh. Just to be safe here. But if there's not an item over here, then that's basically confirmation. Well, there we go. Alright, glad, glad I went over here. Ooh, okay. And we're just going to drive along the little, uh, peninsula here. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at all this. Look at all this. Got a health. And... We got another health. Man, things have vastly improved from five seconds ago. Man, your fortunes can turn left and right at any given moment in this game. It's a lot like gambling. No wonder JT is a gambling addict if this is how things go. Get fucked. Get fucked. He did have one after all, actually. Hooray! Give me that top speed. Boom, bitch. One mission to go. <laughs> yeah. Just as long as you're paying attention, this game isn't that hard. Woo! Got him. Fucking got him. Yeah. If you're not paying attention, though, you know, the game can whip your ass right in the shape. It's a, it's a very fickle game. One minute it's, it's bi bipolar as fuck, dude. That's what it is. What's next on the quest markers? Please talk to me. Nina is cunning creature. It is the second time she has evaded Torque. Nina truly bad, or is she simply trying to survive in this world gone mad? Nice rhymes, JT. Sure looks like she's up her neck in trouble, yet she continues to weave her webs of deception. Is three times a charm. And there's some serious wordplay going on right there. Got him. Fuck you. Stop hitting me with your shit. All right, now you're starting to piss me off. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare take that fucking... Oh, my God. Where are you going? I, I want this bomb. That's all I That's all I asked for. Was a bomb. And now you're over here, like bitch. Fuck you. What you get? Okay, now he's severe. He's severely dead now at this point. And do I want that, or do I want that? Yeah, I definitely want this. Or I could take that. Okay, that really doesn't help, but sure, why not? I'm getting bombarded right now. I need to... I need to measure myself here. No. Hang on, hang on. Alright, that works. And fuck you. Take this! Take this! Ha ha ha! 
Hi, bitch. You're dead. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna completely miss that. Hello. Boop. <laughs> and you're just about dead. Goodbye. And now Nina's approaching, even though I'm not nearly ready for Nina. Oh no, I just... I just left myself vulnerable to Nina's nonsense. Great. Good work by me there. She's gonna start launching her bullshit. Yeah, I'm already launching her bullshit. Trying to find the last... Actual, uh... Nuke. Where's the mini-nukes at? Fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm just getting... Ah, oh, there it is. Finally. Found it. Nailed it. Stop. You're already out of your special. Fuck off. Oh no. Did I seriously just do that? Alright, well, I'm really bad at my job. I'm really bad at my job of being a good guy. Okay, I got the health. I don't think that's enough for me to... For me to win this shit. Don't do it! You fucking whore, dude. That whale sometimes doesn't attack you, but when it does, it attacks with no remorse. Okay. Stop! Fine, fuck you. I'll just go in the water where you can't hit me. Alright, maybe you can hit me. I forgot, they don't get to a lot I don't get to obey the laws of physics, so they don't either. I forgot about that little caveat. Is she on the water? I swear to fucking god, dude. Come back here. Quit trying to- Oh my- How- Where'd you even get your special? Bitch. Fuck's sake, dude. There. It should just be a formality at this point. Oh yeah, I can't target- Oh my god. Well, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure what just happened, but... I think we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, I think we're just about done here. Yeah, goodbye. And that's John Torque's missions complete. There you go. John Torque is no more. I mean, he actually is. He's not no more, because otherwise, if he was no more, that would have meant I lost. And, you know, uh, eh. Cutscene. And there you have it. The follow-up to Nina's thing. So you can see why I ordered it the way that I did. I tried to order the missions in the most logical way for the cutscenes to make sense. So Save that game. Save that game. There we go. So now as you can see, oops, John Torque's mission is complete. Oh, and yeah, and every character has a biography section. So I guess if I wanted to add filler to these already, you know, half an hour long episodes, I could just read the biographies in the tune to Toto Africa as well. Having acquired Sid Burns pay off money, Torque bought himself a new set of tires and some new clothes. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I think the, the implication is that the game expects you to read all this nonsense. And I don't know why they would do that, because who likes reading? Anyway, this has been John Torque. This has been part three of Vigilante 8 Second Offense. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next part, no matter how repetitive this gets. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>
Oh, it's so bad. Why? Why would I do this? Why would I allow this to exist? What have I done? No. What have I done?